Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to set up a SQL servers for configuration manager. So here's the link that I have. Um, let's talk about the SQL server versions for configuration manager. And as you see here, SQL servers, instant and locations, it tells you central administrative site and primary sites the site must be used for installation of sql server so a central site administration site and primary site it has to be a full sql servers it cannot be uh, sql express and if you scroll down the secondary sites here the requirement for secondary site you can use sql server or sql servers express and the uh, support version of SQL servers SQL Server 2016 standard and enterprise SQL Server 2016 2017 here and SQL 2014 I guess the minimum requirement for SQL is let me see here is 2012 SQL Server 2012 is the minimum requirement for um, current branch. So in this installation, I'm going to install SQL Server 2014, which I have license for. Now let's get started. Let's go to D drive. I think I already st extracted. Um, no, not D drive. G drive. Let's see. SQL Server 2014. So I'm going to launch the setup here, the applications. I'm going to right click, run as administrator. I'm going to click the installation here. It's going to be new SQL st servers standalone. Click next. Accept. You can use the Microsoft updates recommended or you don't have to. It's going to take a few minutes if I run this. And I'm, I'm going to do that. Just get the latest updates. SQL servers feature installation there's two options and the all features with the default i'm going to choose the sql features sql server feature installation click next It's going to be on the C drive. That's where I'm going to install it. If you have, if you want to put it on a different drive, all you have to do is just change the drive letter to a different folder. I'm going to leave this alone. It's going to be a database engine. And I'm going to need the reporting service. And also the administrative tools I'm 
this is all I need. These are all the features. So if you, you're going to run a reportings, a reporting service, you need the reporting service native. So these are the only three items I checked. And I'm going to click next. So here it says that it needs the, um, the .NET 3.5. So I'm going to install that here. Click on Server Manager. Go to Tools. Oops, go to Manage. And then Add Roles and Features. Next, next again. It's going to be adding the .NET 3.5 click next and install all right the .NET is completed I'm going to close this out let's go back here to SQL Server installation and rerun all right look like it went by so quick and it passed I'm going to choose the default instance, though you can create your own instance, but in this case, I'm just going to use the default. I'm going to click next. SQL Server Agent, I'm going to have it run automatically. And the I'm not going to use the anti service account, I'm going to use the domain account. It's recommended to use your domain account or domain service account. The reporting service. I'm going to use the domain account also. SQL Server reporting service and SQL Server browser. I'm going to disable that for now. And I'm going to click next. Windows authentication mode. You can use both mix mode and SQL Server authentication. I'm going to choose both. I'm going to give it the password for the SA account. I'm going to add the current users to a SQL Server administrator. Click next. Oops, let's go back here. I think I forgot something here. Data store. So it's going to be on the D drive. In the real world scenario, you want to you want to save your the the log files on a different locations in your backup directory in a different directory or a different drive. Let's click on file stream. It's fine. This should work fine. Let's click next. This for the reporting service, you can do reporting service native mode. There's install and configured, and that's install only. The reporting service operational after the setup is complete. I'm going to do install only. I will run the um, 
the uh, configuration when the SQL Server is installed. I mean, when configuration manager is installed. It's 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 up to you. You can do uh, install and configure it, or just install only. Let's see. Gonna click next. Everything looks good. Summary page here, ready to install. Click on install. All right, look like we are almost halfway done with the installation. Look like the installation has completed. I'm gonna close this out and close this let's see if we can get in we're going to launch configuration uh sql server 2014 management studio so my current credential i should have access full access Window authentications, click next. So there it is. I don't have any database yet or configuration manager database yet. So this is done with the SQL installation. <clears throat> the next video I'm gonna do is the, um, I'm going to install configuration manager. So please watch part two of the configuration manager premier site installations thank you for watching and if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a great day